provider grade 5 pupils welcome back again to another video lesson so we are now on the fourth week of our video lesson for grade 5 mathematics quarter 2 so during our third week we have discussed uh, solving word problems involving addition and subtraction of decimals so after natin sa addition and subtraction of decimals of course the next operation that we will be discussing and we will be studying is about multiplication of decimals. So for this video lessons, we will be multiplying decimals up to two decimal places by one to two digit whole numbers and factors up to two decimal places. So let us start our discussion by enumerating the lesson objectives. At the end of this video lesson, pupils, you are expected to multiply decimals up to two decimals by one to two digit whole numbers. Ibig sabihin, magmumultiply po tayo ng mga decimal numbers by whole numbers. And then also, we will be multiplying decimals with factors up to two decimal places. So decimal by whole number, meron din po syempre ang decimal by another decimal. So let us now discuss the steps in multiplying decimals. So during our discussion on addition and subtraction of decimals, I have discussed with you what are the process, what are the steps that we need to follow whenever we add or subtract decimals. Now, I will be discussing the steps in multiplying decimals. So the first step that we need to do or to follow is to write the factors in vertical form. Kapag sinabi po natin vertical form, pa tayo. So kung paano tayo nagmamultiply ng mga whole numbers, ganun din po natin sila isusulat. So yung mga factors na yun, ito po yung mga numbers or yung mga decimals na minumultiply natin. And then the second step, multiply like whole numbers. So kung paano po tayo nagmamultiply ng mga whole numbers, ganun lang din po ang process ng pagmamultiply natin sa mga decimals. Next, count the number of decimal places in both factors. So since we are talking about decimals, kinoconsider po natin dito yung decimal places. Okay, so mamaya makikita natin kung ilan ang decimal places ng ating mga factors. Again, yung mga factors, these are the numbers that are being multiplied. So let us have multiplying decimal by a whole number. So, ayan. So, let us have the first given, that is 6 tenths multiplied by 8. So, 6 tenths here is our decimal number. And then, the whole number is 8. So, again, ang tawag natin dyan, sa dalawa na yan, factors kapag minumultiply po natin. Now, let us write them in vertical form. So, 0 0.6 or 6 tenths times 8. And then, second step, multiply them like whole numbers. 6 times 8, that is 48. So, we will write 8 and then carry 4. Next, four, uh, 0 times 8, that is 0. So, remember that any number multiplied to 0, the answer is always 0. And then, plus 4, that is 4. And then, we will count the number of decimal places on our factors. So since ito lang naman ang may decimal, yun lang po natin ang bibilangin natin na decimal places. Kasi yung 8 is a whole number. So ilan ang decimal places natin dyan? Isa lang po. Ayan, 1. And then magmove tayo ng decimal place nyan sa ating product, isa lang din po. So from here, ito tayo mag-start. After ng 8, one decimal place, we will move one decimal place to the left. So our final answer is 4.8 or 4 and 8 tenths. Next, 4.7 times 9 or 4 and 7 tenths multiply by 9. So 4.7 
times 9. 7 times 9 here is 63. So we'll write 3 and then carry 6. 4 times 9, that is 36. Plus 6, that is 42. So yung mga given natin dito, number 1 and number 2, one decimal place lang po yung uh, factor natin dito. So, 0 0.6 and then yung 4.7 or 4 and 7 tenths. So, bilangin natin yung decimal place. Kakasabi ko lang, isa lang po. So, we'll move one decimal place to the left. So, from here, 1. So, our final answer is 42 and 3 tenths or 42.3 So let's have uh, the third example. So we have 23 times 5 and 8 tenths or 23 times 5.8. So dito yung ating whole number, 2 digit na siya. 2 digits. And then yung ating decimal, 1 decimal place pa rin. So let's write them, the factors in vertical form. So, 23 times 5.8. Next, 3 times 8, the answer is 24. So, isusulat po natin 4 and then carry 2. Next, 2 times 8, that is 16, plus 2, that is 18. Next, 5 times 3, the answer is 15. So, we'll write 5. And then carry 1. 2 times 5, that is 10. Plus 1, yung kinere natin, we have 11. So, we'll write 11. And then the final step, we'll just simply add. 4, bring down. 8 plus 5, the answer is 3. So, we'll write 3. And then carry 1. So, 8 plus 5, that is 13. So, we'll write 3 and then carry 1. Next, 1 plus 1, we have 2. Plus 1, we have 3. And then bring down 1. Now, ilan ang decimal place ng ating uh, isang factor na decimal? We only have 1. So, we'll, we'll move 1 decimal place to the left. So, our final answer here is 133 n. 4 tenths or 133.4. Next example, number 4, 6 and 52 hundredths times 4. So since dito, yung ating uh, decimal number, 2 decimal places na siya, ang imumove natin mamaya is 2 decimal places to the left na. Anina kasi yung first 3 examples, 1 decimal place. Ngayon naman, sa number 4, 2 decimal places na. Kasi, narinig na natin yung hundredths. Kapag one decimal place lang, that is tenths. Kapag dalawa na, we have hundredths. So, let, let us write our factor. So, 6 and 52 times, times 4. 2 times 4, we have 8. 5 times 4, that is 20. So, we'll write 0 and then 2. 6 times 4, that is 24, plus 2, 26. And then, count the number of decimal places on the given factors. So, in decimal lang natin dito is 6.52 or 6 and 52 hundredths. So, meron po tayong 2 decimal places. So, imamove po natin. 2 decimal places then dun po sa ating product. So, from here, we'll move 2 decimal places to the left. So, our answer, our final answer is 26 and 8 hundredths. So, hindi po natin babasahin as 26 and 8 tenths lang po yan. So, hundredths na po. So, let's have our last example. So, we have 14 and 86 hundredths times 37. So, we'll write down the factors in vertical form. 
and then multiply like whole numbers. 6 times 7, we have 42, so we'll write 2 and then carry 4. 8 times 7, we have 56, plus 4, that is 60, so we'll write 0 and then 6. 4 times 7, that is 28, plus 6, 34, so 4, and then carry 3. 1 times 7, that is 7, plus 3, 10. Next, 3 times 6, 18. So we'll write 8 and then carry 1. 3 times 8, that is 24, plus 1, 25. So we'll write 5 and then carry 2. 4 times 3, that is 12, plus 2, 14. So isulat po natin 4 and then carry 1. Finally, 1 times 3, 3, plus 1, 4. So, ayan, i-add na lang po ngayon natin yung ating mga nakuhang sagot. So, 2, bring down. 0 plus 8, 8. 4 plus 5, 9. 0 plus 4, 4. 1 plus 4, we have 5. And then, 2 decimal places ang kailangan nating i-move. So, 1, 2. So, our final answer is, 549 and 82 hundreds. So let us proceed to another topic. This time, we will be multiplying decimal by another decimal. So pareho na silang may decimal point. So let's start with the first example. So we have 1 and 5 tenths multiplied by 3 tenths. So, let's write them in vertical form. So, ayan. So, 5 times 3, that is 15. So, we'll write 5 and then carry 1. 1 times 3, 3 plus 1, 4. Okay. And then, ayan. Pag yan, kapag uh, minultiply natin 0 sa 5 and then 1, 0 lang naman ang ibibigay niyang sagot. So, add natin. So, 5... 4 plus 0, 4, and then 0. And then, we'll move how many decimal places? So, dito sa 1.5, isa. Dito sa 0 0.3 or 3 tenths, isa din. So, we'll have a, tol a total of 2 decimal places. So, we'll move 2 decimal places to the left. So, our answer is 0 0.45 or 45 hundreds. Next, number 2. 8 tenths times 2 and 7 tenths. 0 0.8 times 2.7. 8 times 7, that is 56, so we'll write 6, carry 5. 0 times 7, 0 plus 5, 5. 2 times 8, 16, so we'll write 6, and then carry 1. 0 times 2, 0 plus 1, 1. And then, we'll write plus. So, add natin ngayon, 6, 5 plus 6, 11. So, we'll write 1 and then carry 1, 1 plus 1, 2. Then, how many decimal places? Dito isa, dito isa din. So, we'll have 2 decimal places. So, we will move 2 decimal places to the left. So, 1, 2. So, our final answer is 2 and 16 hundredths or 2.16. So, kapag mali tayo ng minub na decimal places, syempre, mali na po yung ating sagot. Kailangan binibilang natin yung mga factors na meron tayo. Uh, binibilang natin yung decimal places na meron dun sa ating mga factors. Another example, 94 hundredths times 6 tenths. Sulat natin yung ating mga given. So dito, hindi naman kinakailangan na dapat yung mga decimals ay, decimal point ay magkaka-align. Kasi magmumove lang tayo ng decimal places dun sa ating product, dun sa ating pinaka-final answer. Next, 
4 times 6, that is 24, so we'll write 4, carry 2. 9 times 6, 54, plus 2, 56, so we'll write 6, and then carry 5. 0 times 6, 0, plus 5, so we'll have 5. And then yan, 0 na lahat yan. So, next. Imumod natin ngayon ilang decimal places to the left. 1, 2, 1. So, meron tayong tatlo. So, from here, we'll move 3 decimal places to the left. 1, 2, 3. So, our final answer is 564 thousands. So, ngayon, thousands na po kasi 3 decimal places. Next, number 4. 8 and 77 hundredths multiplied by 2 and 6 tenths. So, 7 times 6, 42. So, we'll write 2, then carry 4. 7 times 6, 42 plus 4, 46. So, we'll write 6 and then carry 4. 8 times 6, that is 48 plus 4, 52. Next, 2 times 7, we'll have 14, so we'll write 4, then carry 1. 2 times 7, that is 14, plus 1, 15. So, sulat po natin 5, and then carry 1. 8 times 2, we have 16, plus 1, 17. So, 1, and then 7. So, add lang po natin. Bring down 2. 6 plus 4, 10. So, we'll write 0, carry 1, 2 plus 5, 7 plus 1, 8. 5 plus 7, we have 12. So, we'll write 2 and then carry 1. 1 plus 1, 2. And then, count the number of decimal places on the given factors. So, dito tayo sa una, 1, 2. Sa pangalawa naman, 1. So, a total of 3 decimal places. So, 1, 2, 3, and then our final answer is 22 and 802 thousands. So this will be our final answer. So what's next? So on the next video lesson, we will be discussing on how to estimate product of decimals and as well as to solve routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication of decimals. So I hope you've learned something from our video lesson for today. So that's all. Thank you.